like in the wet and he doesn't feel as confident and that could be an issue tomorrow. Hey, I'm a realist. You still got to be Mark Brilliant. Farm after this pretty fast right hand. Oh, sorry, we go down to the loop and then we go round to eight. There are less bumps. That's the positive side. Then you have to watch other riders that have said it's worse than last year. I can't believe how many arm work triple clamps in the front. Not to mention even the tire pressure, so the amount of flex that the, the sidewall and the tire gives. How hard as I can, if it starts drizzling, I'll come in. Do you know what I mean? Rather than just sitting there wasting energy going, what's it going to do? What's it going to do? You need an experienced team around you to get your attention to Mr. Lorenzo. 201982 in an FP4. 200 off what he's done earlier. Yeah, impressive, in, isn't it? In FP4. Yeah, it, it, this morning it didn't, it didn't look um, And several answers to that, it would seem. Some say Formula One were on it too quick. Others are saying the world endurance there when he first rode it. But like I said, if you go on anything that's road spec, it's obviously there's a lot more flex in it. That's easier to ride, everything's yeah. softer. Because yeah. I rode riders and you probably aren't getting riders slag this track off because they love the layout. You get as much information attention because they feel it. I mean your weekend's determined in most GP especially, especially this man, number 25. If he doesn't qualify well. Edges with JT. Yeah, six times world champion. How are you doing, Max? Are you alright? Nice to see you. Uh, nice to see you as well. Uh, Been in the Misano, something for the engine to make it better and easy to ride, and they have a good feedback. So I don't think like his, his elbow sliders and his knee sliders look a little bit more like they did use. It was brand new. Everything was brand new. Run out of road down there, and you sort of this will might might sound strange as well. You've sort of got to crack. Last time he qualified on pole, 2010. Wow. Here. Rain flags final day of champions and the two wheels for life uh, charity. Uh, Valentino Rossi was one. That was just like this. You probably stood more chance of riding a motor e bike. It's got treaded tyres on it. I would uh, forgive me. JT, you put on. Do you, do you, do you go for you? Actually, that's BSB did it that. Happen. Yeah. It yeah. happened here last year. Yeah, talk us through it. So born before handbrake, turn it on yeah. the exit. You know how, how, he, how he sort of pivots it round his own body and then draws it in, saves it on his elbow. Going on there, they've got know? the calipers stuck to them because yeah. they can't get them in the wheel. It's uh, you've got to put the, the whole unit on. And uh, and gas. Would he prefer, prefer wet or dry at the moment? Dry, dry, for sure, the dry. Crash, and Tito that's Tito just crash. come in. Flag's gone out now. Oh, oh. that's um. Oh, that's Tito, so it must have been Xavier Simeon. Oh, he's on the, you, look well, at look that. At the, the yeah, that's, there. that's a puddle, though. But that's not because the servicing's gone wrong. It's just the... It, Lutie. Well, that's, that's, that that's actually Tito on the oh, ground there. there, there yeah, but that's Ludi Spike and, and the rate right of the shot, so yeah, I don't know if he's, if he's hit it in the way... Maybe 80 miles an hour, would you say? Yeah, it, maybe, maybe more. Maybe Lucky more. He's got maybe more. Yeah, yeah, I would say more. So who's making family? Well, we're sat next to a bloke who's... Um, Still a uh... serious stain in water. Look at that. They're just sweeping these big puddles off. And it's not even bad right now. No. It just, that just... Oh, Franco Morbidelli, Alvaro Bautista, Takanaka, Bradley Smith, who was looking superb this morning. Tito Rabat, Danny Pedro. Oh, no, well, uh, yeah, looking at shots there of the fish. That's uh, Javi Shirin uh, going out. Oh, Death Peak can be quite good. Just snap that out from underneath. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going for Shirin and I'm going to go for Bautista on the Ducati because the Ducati seems to actually have got get a feel for the track and just try and... But there's track at, at, at uh, the hangar straight into steel discs on as well for uh, Danny Pedrosa, so... Because of this, hang on, let's see what they said about Tito, undergoing treatment. Various traumas, I hate the sound of that, so uh, various anyway. But there is a dip in the braking area before you get to it just a dip and that's holding water in a puddle dry part of the track but then when you need it in the wet part of the track it's not working like a proper wet tire should do so they might a bit and with a lap that's going to be two minutes 15 two minutes 16 a lap around here that soon uses up your fifth up time at so the end there as well he's gone over the line he's the first let's see how much quicker than everybody is at the moment yeah and he didn't say no like you just said it's in no, no definitely yeah. not british rider so uh, at the moment, remember the top two go through, everyone else is fifth row. Uh, well, I tell you what, that would be a result. We didn't mention him, no. Did we? Well, I did a minute ago because he was uh, he, what they've been saying of late. Lutie. Lutie. second, good in the wet. How many Experience. times on a moto yeah. tother off yep. <laughs> in uh, Mark VDS and uh, kicked him straight out of KTM? It's down to 1.1 second now, Smith to Lutie in second place those two at the moment vying and there at the moment nakagami nakagol pedrosa there you go pedrosa's done it got smith back in second place rins is on a flyer as well you, 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 oh, literally. Oh, go on scott go on scott making it spin yeah, yeah to make it the chip as well 
Scott Redding and Rins are looking really good, but Smith is absolutely on it. Come on, Bradley. The line, he goes top, 113-340. That's 1.5 seconds faster than Danny Pedrosa's second place time. Bradley Smith. It only bumps Pedrosa out, so we've got a, a double indemnity here. Baz only goes through in fifth place. Come on, Scott. Two Brits through would be spectacular. Here's Morbidelli. Too far starting the British Grand Prix from at least the uh, fifth row. Here comes Scott Redding. And it's going... Well, he looks across at the yes, yeah. air too. So Rins has done a great job and realises it. Luti, though, is not far off. And Loris Baz will be on the sixth row. Nakagami, Abraham and Balti. We've all been there. Whatever your level, you work in that situation. And he went out there and he... Uh, what is that flying over us? That's a helicopter. Um, Michael... But um, after jumping off the motorbike, jumping on your second bike... Fella, he says that. But what, what Colin says actually matters to what you were saying, James, sticking that slick tyre in, with, I think, in 24 hours' time. But, but this is a worry, because it's not rained since Q1, so I don't... It all of a sudden becomes one of your favourites, so... Valentino's strong here, we know the Yamaha has... Uh, if he puts slicks on right now, he'll make it work. He's loving it on the Ducati round here, Michael, isn't he? Yeah, looking really at home. And you can look at Morbidelli and generate heat, try and generate as much as possible, but... You know, on the, on the section of the track. And then when you're coming in, the rain could pour out in one part of the track and, and it'd be worse. So you won't, don't be surprised that everybody's going to go out now and, uh, and try and get the... Um, Jack Miller, why not? Come on, Bradley Smith. He's maybe his last British... ...to be wet, is what he said for the race. He wants dry conditions. That Honda is just a bit live. ...inside of your tight here. If oh, it's yeah. got a dotted line around it, you just have to look at the screen. Yeah, it's pretty easy, really. Thanks, thanks Keith, for explaining <laughs> how we... Dobby, yeah. Dobby, for me, I think, in these conditions... We'll see, but Jack Miller's a good call. Yeah, I'm going for Jack. Look at the water still laying there, pretty heavy as well. No aquaplaning this time around, of course. Michelin's clearly in these conditions as well. But it's going to be the one that keeps going to the very last lap of this 50. As you can to gain as much time, but you'll end up spinning that soft Michelin rubber off the way. They will not have an extra allocation, I'm assuming that's the case, because Mike Leitner said that Bradley wouldn't get extra tyres for this session faster than Jack Miller in second place. Ha! Bradley Smith is on a roll. Marquez slots it in there. 400. I can't quite understand what... Yeah, I'm looking around at Neil. I wish you could see him. His face is as bemused as mine. Mind you, mind. <laughs> you know, Nate. The mixed in-between conditions. This man is not comfortable. Just over the line, and he makes it a 12-0-0-1. He even took tie between Lorenzo and Marquez. Crutchlow's currently last, but he's been in the first sector. Ooh. Come on, Cal Crutcho. Vinales then tenth with that. My worry is if Miller goes and... Oh, that's the Zarco we remember. Where's he been? <laughs> I wonder. We've lost him for a few months. It's to go. That ain't going to work. He's not going to have time. Here comes Crutchlow to the line. Will he go top? Yes! yes. Oh, riding that like an absolute... Superman, 1-11-2, that is spe... You could quite easily just be over the handlebars. Yes, you can gain time through these sections. Spectacular. Joe Zarco, can he pull that one off? 20 seconds to go, Bradley Smith puts it on the front row provisionally. Oh, here comes Dobby, Dobby to the top. Pole position so far, 2-10-3. That is 9 10 George, <laughs> gonna look good on pole. He does! 2-10-1. Unreal. Wow. Can he make it to the front row from fourth place? No. No, he can't. Yes, he does. Oh, yeah. Yes, he does. Over the That's line it. comes Marquez and Zarco. Zarco goes back to the front row. Cuts so bump. You know, they Smith and Miller. <laughs>